2020. This is how a lot of us felt and probably still feel. What a year it has been. From a pandemic to political unrest, the world was as figuratively going up in flames as it was literally on fire. But I don't want this to be the only thing that comes out of it. I don't want this chapter of life to just be called Fuck 2020. Because honestly, it looks like we're in part two right now and things haven't changed that much in 2021. What a surprise. Since March 2020, the world has changed. My world has changed. But through all the craziness, I think there are some little moments that were shining through. So, you've heard of the virus, you've seen the violence and the country going up in flames, but here are some of the moments that I think made this year bearable. It all started with dark, rainy days and the looming fear of losing my job. Every day, just waking up and thinking, is today the day I am getting fired? Because, you know, if the world's gonna end, you might as well spend your last moment on Earth dreading everything, being overwhelmed, and also, it's raining outside. How's it going, Michael? The great Michael goes back to work after a deserved pee break. <laughs> Saying the corona. Being stuck inside all day long, I mean, we had to keep busy. Jesse basically turned into a mask dealer, mask maker, and mask smuggler. She made so many and even found a clever way to deliver them fully contactless and from the safety of her balcony. I'm pretty sure she made at least two to five masks for every friend and family members we had around us. This is my mask. I fabricated it yesterday using a bathing suit and some curtains. This woman is my hero of 2020. Jessie is a dream come true. She kept me sane and she made this lockdown and crazy year bearable. We turned our rooftop into a party pod for two. Enjoying beers under the sun was so refreshing after being stuck inside. We learned to love our little balcony and you know, we just kept busy and we just messed around and had a great time. Jessie wasn't the only thing keeping me sane. We're lucky enough to live close to the beach that we spend a lot of early morning surfing and sunset chasing. Sadly, the beaches got really full real fast and we had to go away for a few days to go find some well-deserved, uncrowded fresh air. There's nothing like hiking in Big Bear, getting lost in the woods, we were skating around and just spending time relaxing and unplugging by the lake. The fun had to end and since we were sad to come back to the normal apartment stuck life, we had to find affection with our spiky beast Komodo. To be honest, we needed something more fluffy, so yeah, we got a dog. Meet Murphy, the new member of the crew! We ended the year with some of the best sunsets you've ever seen. And December weather really felt like summer. Mm. 
what a crazy year it's been. So many doubts, things to learn and things to overcome. But through the rain and the cloud and despite feeling like it was the end of the world every day, this, this year was still made bearable thanks to all those little moments that were shining through. So I don't want to end on a fuck 2020. I want to be more hopeful. So this is more of a goodbye 2020. Anyways, now I'm gonna hug my wife and uh, watch the sunset in the ocean. Peace.